iOS 6 finally brings local support, making it infinitely more useful. Use your voice to find a nearby takeaway or taxi, the latest film reviews, and even Barclays Premier League scores. Share web pages and photos to your Facebook feed and update your status using Siri. Facebook events sync with your calendar and your friends appear in contacts. Apple's video calling service is now available over 3G as well as Wi-Fi, enabling video calling on the go. A 30-minute video consumes around 150 to 210 megabytes of data, but GIFGAF tariffs include unlimited data. Hold the phone vertically and sweep it around up to 240 degrees following the on-screen guides and you've got a stunning seamless panorama. Panoramas are big files, which is worth bearing in mind when sharing, although compression options are available. 3D Flyover lets you explore 3D landmarks like the London Eye or the Eiffel Tower in cities all over the world. It's an amazing feature, however it has been overshadowed by Apple Maps errors, which we'll touch on later. Apple Maps free turn-by-turn -turn voice instructions are worth a mention too, turning your iPhone into a sat-nav. iOS 6 launches on the iPhone 5, but is available for the iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, new iPad and iPad 2, but not the original iPad. Not every feature is supported by every device though. The iPhone 4 doesn't have Siri, flyover or turn-by-turn -turn navigation. In addition to these, the iPhone 3GS doesn't get FaceTime over 3G, VIP inbox or offline reading. Check Apple's website to find out more. Installing iOS 6 to your device, remove the native YouTube app. Get around this by downloading the standalone YouTube app from the Apple App Store. With a cleaner layout and improved menus, it's actually better. Despite improvements, the interface is inflexible next to Windows Phone 8 and Android, so there are no live widgets and you can't resize icons. In addition, share options and contact synchronisation are limited. The biggest criticism of iOS 6 is Apple Maps. Apple Maps replace Google Maps, but there are numerous errors with places incorrectly labelled, spelt and located, and even covered with cloud. In short, it's no match for Google Maps. However, there are alternatives. Copilot GPS includes fantastic maps with multiple route options, turn-by-turn -turn directions, and it also works offline, making it a great choice for avoiding data charges on city breaks. Voice instructions and 3D maps cost extra though, so it's not the best choice for driving. WisePilot is a navigation app with a difference. 69p gets you basic mapping, and then you can add extras like live traffic and navigation for an extra cost. The app is one of the most user-friendly we've tried, but needs a data connection. With step-by-step -step instructions and simple maps, Use Bing Get Me There to plan routes across London using public transport or on foot. Live departure boards for tube stations are particularly useful.